This presentation is on Nemertia, which is the scientific name for ribbon worms. The first thing we're going to talk about is um, their characteristics. There are about 1,400 species, most which live in the ocean, but some are freshwater and some live on land. Most ribbon worms are under 20 centimeters and only a few millimeters wide with flat symmetrical bodies. Um, they have more than two layers of cells um, containing both organs and tissue. Their mouths are located just under their brain and their stomachs just under the middle part of their bodies and they have an anus at the end of their bodies. Um, ribbon worms have both a nervous and blood system and can produce reproduce asexually and sexually. Um, most freshwater species uh, reproduce asexually. Ribbon worms have a proboscis which wraps around their prey to trap and kill it. Um, most species of ribbon worms are carnivorous but some are herbivores and scavengers. Ribbon worms typically feed on scavengers and dead animals located by chemical signals. Even though ribbon worms are equipped with eyes, they do not necessarily require them to find their prey. Their pink and purplish bodies are covered in little hairs called cilia, which help to give them guidance. Ribbon worms also secrete a slimy mucus, which helps them to glide over surfaces. Ribbon worms are generally found entangled under rocks and are extremely fragile. This worm may break into several fragments if there is an attempt to untangle it, though regeneration from its segments is easy for this worm as it is capable of reproducing asexually. Based on characteristics, two classes of Nemertes have been distinguished. The Anopia is one of the two classes that have stylets on its proboscis. The Anopia is the other class which has no stylets on its proboscis. Evidence from elongation sequences suggests that they are closely related to mollusks. Originated from a variation of 14 primary ancestors, the Nemertes acts as a key predator feeding on annual worms and crustaceans. Many tests are done to see if they are monophyletic since some of the species have been monophyletic and some not. Ribbon worms are believed to be the descendants of flatworms due to their acelum bodies, which means that their bodies do not contain any fluid. There is controversy on this, some saying that there is evidence of coelom bodies, meaning that they do contain fluid. But researchers don't know for sure, because ribbon worms have soft bodies, and with their soft bodies, it's nearly impossible to form fossils. Without these fossils, it's hard to say what exactly ancient Nemertia looked like.